China was caught violating international laws after Italian authorities seized Chinese drone parts from a container ship destined for Libya that were being transported disguised as wind turbines. Indian and Chinese foreign minister met on the sidelines of the SCO meet and discussed early resolution of remaining issues in border areas. The Indian Army has acquired 113 electric buses for the transportation of troops that has an endurance of 250 kilometers. A visiting high-level Indonesian Air Force delegation were briefed on the ATAG's mounted gun system and ALS-50 loitering munition. Kalyani Strategic Systems has received multiple queries for its artillery shells at Orosatory 2024 in Paris, France. Critical onboard systems on light utility helicopter are currently undergoing testing, and its certification will be achieved within the next six months. The Indian Air Force Chief has inaugurated a weapon systems school that will impart effect based contemporary training and prepare officers of the newly formed branch in line with its requirements. Indian firm R Plus D Studio has designed and built the world's first carbon neutral modular outpost at 14,000 feet in J and K for the Indian Army. The French Air and Space Force will demonstrate its A400 M Atlas transport aircraft and A330 multi role tanker transport to the Indian Air Force next month. Indian Army has started 16th edition of joint military exercise Nomadic Elephant with the Mongolian Ground Force from today. According to a report by Bloomberg, India and Russia might be revisiting the idea of jointly developing a fifth-generation fighter jet, and this comes as Prime Minister Modi prepares for his bilateral visit to Russia this month. Whether this translates into a revived FGFA program or an entirely new collaboration like the SU-75 remains to be seen. The report also says that payment difficulties are over, and India's decision to restart joint FGFA development is logical for many reasons, as Russia has addressed the shortcomings cited by the Indian Air Force during development and operational testing, and the latest Su-57 variants have been equipped with the AL-51 Stage 2 engine, that has a dry thrust of 110 kN and a wet thrust of 175 kN. A serious cap in the Indian Air Force's operational capability might emerge from the rapid addition of J-20 stealth fighters to the Chinese Air Force, and Pakistan's decision to acquire and deploy J-31 stealth fighters from 2029. French firm Dassault Aviation has announced that it has begun sourcing titanium parts from Indian companies, for the production of Rafale fighter jets. This strategic collaboration benefits both parties, as Dassault gains access to a potentially reliable and cost-effective source of high-quality titanium parts, while on the other hand, Indian companies have secured valuable partnerships with a leading player like Dassault Aviation. Dassault also plans to incorporate even more Indian vendors into its supplier base, fostering a deeper and more collaborative relationship with the Indian aerospace sector. The DRDO chief has advocated for international collaboration to develop a sixth-generation jet engine that will power the AMCA and future sixth-generation aircraft. While discussions are ongoing with all three contenders, British firm Rolls-Royce stands out for its involvement in the sixth-generation Tempest program. Rolls-Royce has outlined some key features of the engine that it is developing for Tempest, which are highly relevant to India's needs that includes propulsion design integration, advanced thermal management, next generation power generation and power management system. The Ministry of Defense is planning to invest in extending the service life of X-31 PA launched anti-radiation missiles that are deployed by Su-30 and MiG-29 fighter jets. The expression of interest document specifies that the maintenance overhaul refurbishment and life extension of these end-of-life X-31P missiles by domestic Indian firms, and this comes as a surprise, considering that India acquired these X-31P missiles in 2019, and the real curiosity is why a missile acquired just five years ago would already be considered expired. 
today's top 3 comments.